you guys, it is Subaki Swag, and I'm coming to you with a review of Naruto Shippuden, episode 338, is is and is Nami. Alright, so pretty much this one picks up where the last one left off at, of course, where um, Sasuke and Atachi are still pretty much, like, watching Kabuto being the infinite loop that... So that Itachi put him in when he cast it that is a, is a Nami. So while he's like while they're watching him just stand there being the loop, Itachi decides to tell Sasuke like where the Izignagi and the Izignami came from, and how they came about, and why the Izignami was created because of the Izignami Izignagi. <laughs> but anyways, so. Pretty much, Itachi tells about how the Uchiha clan had the Izignagi and they were using it in wars as opposed to like, well, they were using it in wars because nobody could get out of the loop and then they could, they could win because it was such a powerful jutsu. But eventually, after they kept using it, they started using it on each other because everybody was becoming power hungry for the people who could use the Izignagi. So people were killing, well, people within the Uchiha clan were killing each other and just trying to become the leader as opposed to working together with their visual prowesses. So this is when the Izignami was created because they needed something that would balance out the Izignagi for the people who decided that they just wanted to rule the world. Because originally the Izignami, I mean the Izignagi was supposed to be like unstoppable pretty much. You weren't supposed to be able to get out of it. This is when the Izignami was created and it instead of changing fates or make giving the illusion of changing fates is a nami puts you in an infinite loop until you realize that you can't change your fate and you have to come to terms with with it instead of trying to change it and Atachi was telling Sasuke all of this like telling him the story of all of this and why it came about and Sasuke was like okay I finally understand why all this stuff is happening like why it was created why and now and why they are now forbidden jutsus so after Sasuke came to terms with this he was talking to Itachi and he was asking why Itachi was trying to help Kabuto and Kabuto and <laughs> Itachi pretty much said that Kabuto reminded him of his old self like how he was how he really didn't understand who he was and he was trying to do everything to find himself instead of looking inside himself so Itachi said that he wanted to help him because he was pretty much the only person that could which is true so once Itachi realized this that he could help um Kabuto he did and that's why he casted him under the Izignami so that way he could better help Kabuto realize that he can't be like Orochimaru. He has to be himself. And once he realized this, he would be able to get out of the loop. So after this, well after all of that, Sasuke pretty much like flew off the handle and told him, like, told Itachi that he was perfect, and the only reason why he left the Leaf Village was because of them telling him that he had to kill off his family and everything, and he doesn't understand how Kabuto is anything like him, and Itachi's like, I'm nowhere near perfect, there's pretty much no one in the world that is perfect, and Sasuke, of course, doesn't understand this because he's still... He still looks so highly to his older brother. And Itachi pretty much told him that it was his fault why Sasuke is the way he is because he didn't treat Sasuke like another comrade or a shinobi. He treated him like a little kid. And this is what really infinitely pushed Sasuke into becoming who he is now. But Itachi 
wanted to tell him the truth so that way maybe he could change. But then he told he told Sasuke that he is infinite, infinitely not going to be the one to change Sasuke. And it was hinted towards Naruto because earlier when he was first reanimated, he came across Naruto and he told Naruto that he's leaving it to him to change Sasuke. Because Itachi's already dead, so there's really not a whole lot that he can do to help Sasuke in the long run. And during all this, Sasuke um, performs a Tatsuki no Mi on Kabuto so he can figure out the signs to stop the reanimation jutsu while he is still in the Izignami. So, pretty much. And then at the end... Itachi pretty much says, well, he's saying it directed towards Naruto, not necessarily to him. He's pretty much telling Naruto that it's up to him now to change Sasuke. And it's up to him now to end the war because there's only so much that Itachi can do because he isn't alive anymore. And that was pretty much the end of the episode. So, yeah. That was a pretty awesome episode, even though there was no fighting. And I love fighting, but it's okay. So I would love to hear from those of you who do not read the manga. I would love to hear what y'all think are going to happen in the next episode. And please, 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 for people like me who actually have read, that actually do read the mangas, no spoilers, please. Because it's no fun if somebody spoils it for you. So no spoilers. But anyways, um, please, please, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, this is Subaki Swag saying adios.